Alright, so let's create a Google logo. Open Creator, click New File, and once you have clicked New File, click Create. Uh, those will be the really different height. Okay, so Google is text based logo. It's going to be easy to do this. So go on the layers, add a new layer like that, and rename your first layer to background. It's it's going to be our background. Rename the above layer as a Google logo. You can give it any name you like. You may just even number it. It doesn't matter. Okay, guys, so let's select. Um, once you've done the naming, you could go on and select on the left side. You could select uh, the text uh, tool, the text editor tool. Once you do that, highlight on the blank space, and that text uh, editor tool comes up. So there, you could just let Google highlight the text and go on front. Once you go on front, um, you could uh light product size so that's the text front of google you could also even just download this on the internet if you don't have it so once the text is highlighted you can just go and um try to increase the font size so that you could uh, look as big as it's looking on mine okay so done 34 front uh, 34 font size is nice let's close that and center our google logo by clicking on the left side the move tool you could do this by just pressing t on your keyboard okay so we have centered it it looks nice it looks beautiful well i'm loving it already so right now let's just get into coloring coloring is one of my favorite parts to be able to edit a vector in creator you need to go to um the vector layer and uh, click the light option so that it could bring you all those options so go to convert to and convert it to paint once you convert it to paint it's when you're going to be able to color the fonts and give them the color theme that google has so i've done that it's now converted to paint now it's just a matter of going to the left side of your screen selecting clicking F or selecting the paint dropper tool so guys let's start coloring okay, so um, right now all we need to do is just start coloring you could see there on the light side of your screen there is this uh, color selector triangle so you could just go there adjust uh, select the color that you want as the way I'm doing once you do this you could just go and uh, drop paint on the uh, G you can drop paint on the G so I'm thinking it's blue let's drop some blue there um, you can see that also added a new layer you could add you can choose to add a new layer or you could choose not to add a new layer so on the on the all let's add some uh, red and it's looking nice it's looking the way google looks so on the second um yellow on the second oh let's add yellow and we're coloring it this very same way google uh, does it so let's also uh, go to um the blue that we already selected uh, yes that one and drop it on the g again um we're doing this so that we're making a google logo you can see where it started from and create it's very very easy to do this i'm hoping that you're also doing it there whilst you're watching this um let's drop some light there so as you can see we have made a google logo in just a short while um i'm thinking let's adjust uh, the color blue on the second g let's uh, lighten it a bit and on the first g sorry okay so there you have it guys who have made a good looking um google logo as you can see there we just uh, um we just uh used uh product uh product size font so it's the very same uh font that google uses so let's save our logo let's save our logo there as png uh, you could just uh, change the format if it's saving as a clear document you can change the format easily by doing that and clicking the format that you want so there we have it guys have you have made a google a good looking logo so let me just show you something else you could also add a picture to this and make it more legit okay so we have done our google logo right now let's add a picture inside our google logo so um locate anywhere where you have a picture in your pc i have mine somewhere somewhere in pictures okay got them there uh website hd pictures so i have a lot of pictures and i was thinking what would best uh for this design that i made i'm i'm going for something that is dark and something uh 
of course something that is like uh, maybe a person because okay, so I, I got a bunch of pictures from Max Zuckerberg here anyway so I'm looking for a picture that will suit my uh, that will suit the logo that we have just designed just to make it look uh, legit uh, professional so let's just drag and drop it there and select add as a new layer so I've wanted a picture it seems too big let me let's try to center that and see where it is okay so it's too big but you can see that I'm adding a picture there so this is a picture of Jeff Benzo <laughs> the richest man in the whole world so let me just delete that it's not suiting well uh, try to locate uh, another picture in the uh, in the picture folder looking at it okay there is Elon Musk I'm thinking maybe the way different resolution and height for this one is nice okay so I'm thinking yeah it's a little bit nice let me just shift that so it's like Elon Musk is pointing where the Google logo is so it looks a lot, a lot more professional so let's just go to layers and uh, transform and select uh, flip horizontally so I just like it to, uh, for him to be like on the light side okay so we can match the the layers just drop it down there and just try to match that back when pressing ctrl E and then highlighting that back on okay so this adjust our google, uh, google logo to be on top so guys thank you for watching um how to create a google logo it's been an easy tutorial i hope you're gonna subscribe for more creator tutorials so i'm gonna show you a lot more than this uh thing that we've done here i hope that you come back for more because i'll be showing you how to draw in an advanced way i hope that you guys subscribe